Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a complete different type of video. Today's video is going to be based on skincare. Now, I did fall asleep with my makeup on and the minute that I realized it, I woke up and I decided to go ahead and film this video for you guys. Um, so this video is mainly going to be an intense skincare routine for the days that I either fall asleep with my makeup on or for the days that I just wear a lot of makeup and I really want to treat my skin and say I'm sorry. So if you guys want to learn how I do my intense skincare, go ahead and keep on watching. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and start off by putting my hair up so that it's out of our way. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the skin. First, I'm going to start off by wiping my makeup off with the makeup remover wipe. My favorite one is the one from Neutrogena. One I'm using today is going to be their normal blue packet. Now the key of using the makeup remover wipe is to take off any heavy or excess makeup that I have on my face and to also remove any mascara, glue, or lips that I may have on. Today I'm only wearing a tiny bit of mascara and I had a tinted lip balm on. Alright, I'm all done with that so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys have already seen this product multiple times. My next step is to follow up with my Fresh Seaberry Skin Nutrition Cleansing Oil. You can actually remove your makeup with this, but I just personally rather to remove my makeup first and then go in with this guy. He is going to remove any makeup that is sitting inside your pores, really um, deep cleanse everything off while leaving your skin nice and smooth. So you are going to do oil straight onto dry face and you're going to just massage that around in circular motions. Now I'm going to go ahead and add warm water and emulsify it and immediately after I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off. So now that we have all our makeup off, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my exfoliating. Today I'm going to be using the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. I'm just going to use a little pea size of this along with some warm water. Now when you're exfoliating, you want to make sure to go really, really gentle. I know it's super easy to just want to get in the shower and just rub your face, but don't do that. You just want to be very gentle, circular motions, and make sure you're getting in all the little nooks and crannies where you normally have either dead or dry skin, or even where your skin's the most oily at. Now whether you're oily or dry, it's so important that you exfoliate your skin, especially if you are a daily makeup wearer because you don't want those dry and dead skin cells to go ahead and accumulate on your skin. You don't want those to accumulate there because then it's gonna create that bumpy texture that we all really dislike underneath our makeup. All right, once you're all done, go ahead and just rinse this bad boy off. Now, it's time to get down to some real business. Um, at this point, I would normally be done, ready to put my skincare on and go about my day. We are going to go ahead and apply a couple masks, not just one. I'm going to start off with my Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. I'm just going to go ahead and just grab a little bit and I'm going to actually concentrate this in my eye area. Now I'm not running this all the way up as you guys can see. I'm going to keep it quite a bit away from my lash line because I don't want um, this mask getting in my eyes, or any mask I should say, um, but I do want my under eye area to be a lot brighter. So any area that I want to focus on brightening my skin, I'm going to apply this mask. Now for any areas that I feel that I'm going to get a little bit of a breakout, I go ahead and apply my Peter Thomas Roth Sulfur Mask in those little spots, so just spot treating. For my next mask, I'm going to focus on my pores in the center of my face, mainly my nose. I'm going in with my Bocha Luminizing Black Mask. Now this one is a peel off mask so you're going to want to use quite a bit when you're applying. And then I like to focus this right in this area so I can minimize my pores here. This is a really good mask to do before doing your makeup. You can go ahead and pop this guy on your nose. Go ahead and do in your eyebrows and maybe your eyeshadow. And then when this guy's ready to peel off, you peel him off and move on to your skincare and prepping your skin for your foundation. So my last mask I'm doing today is from Clodalee. It's my Intense Detox Mask. I've loved this mask ever since I got my hands on it. And this one's gonna go ahead and just go on the rest of my skin, just 
again, detoxing and making sure all um, impurities are out of my skin. All right, so we're all done with mapping our masks. We're gonna go ahead and leave all of these on until our pink and our white mask dry completely and until our black Bosha mask dries so that we can go ahead and peel that off. I'll go ahead and be back once that's all set. Guys, so the masks are finally done. The only areas that are still a tad bit wet are wherever the fresh mask is touching the Caudalie mask, which is gonna be on these little edges. This guy here, even though he looks like he's wet, he's completely dry. So it is time to peel our Bosha mask off and then rinse everything. All right, so I just flicked a little part. <laughs> Like the little part of my mask off. We're gonna go ahead and pull and roll it off. These are all little blackheads that came out of my nose. Gross, huh? For the rest of the mask, we're gonna use some really, really um, warm water and go ahead and exfoliate it off gently. And then carefully, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of the fresh mask. All right, so I rinsed my face off with warm water and then I finished it off with some really, really cold water so I can retighten my pores. My last step was to go ahead and moisturize. Normally, if I was gonna be doing my makeup, I would be putting on my serums, my eye creams, and my face moisturizer, but for added hydration, I'm gonna go in with the Eborian Water Lock um, Sleep. It's actually a sleep mask, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this bad boy on and I'm gonna leave them on all day since I know I won't be going anywhere later. And this is going to go ahead and, with its bamboo technology, it's going to go ahead and lock in all of the moisture into my skin and help plump and revive my skin to its normal baby soft state. <laughs> Just kind of put this guy everywhere like you normally would with your normal moisturizer. Now that I look like a glazed donut, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on my lip plumper. All right, and that's it. That's what I do for an intense skincare regimen. This is just what works for me, and this is what I've been doing for multiple months now. Of course, if you guys have any suggestions on any of your favorite skincare products, feel free to comment them down below. Also, if you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and please click the subscribe button right here. And if you guys can please hit the like button down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.